Canada has expelled India's High Commissioner and five other Indian diplomats. India has responded by kicking out six members of Canada's diplomatic mission there. When it comes to India-Canada diplomatic relations, today felt like deja vu. Fall of 2023 on steroids. Just when we were thinking that things might be getting better, behind the curtain, things got much more worse. Because today, both India and Canada have expelled each other's top diplomats, including the High Commissioner. The last time when things got so heated up was exactly one year ago in the September and October of 2023, just before Diwali vacations. And back then, India stopped issuing visas to Canadian nationals. So could something of that sorts happen again? What about applying OCIs, PCC and passport renewals? Last year, personally I experienced this pain of waiting in the line almost from midnight to apply for the OCI. So are there chances that things could get that bad once again? And what about applying Canadian visa from India? Is that going to get affected as well? We are going to talk all about these points in this video. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. So yet again, India-Canada diplomatic ties have hit rock bottom. When two countries expel diplomats, this signifies serious trouble. India might have recalled their diplomats, including the High Commissioner, maybe from uh, Pakistan, maybe from countries like Afghanistan, but Canada was not expected. Here there are two different stories going on. The Indian media is saying that Indian government recalled the Indian High Commissioner and other diplomats from Canada. Delhi has downgraded its relationship with Canada. We have a High Commissioner in Ottawa, but he along with other diplomats have been recalled. And the Canadian media is saying that Canada expelled the top six diplomats, including the High Commissioner. Canada expelled six Indian diplomats after the RCMP said it found evidence of serious criminal activity. I don't really think that this matters that which perspective is true because what really matters is that the Indian diplomats are going back to India, which is a huge blow for people living in Canada who have got deep ties in India. And to reciprocate, the Indian government also expelled the top six Canadian diplomats in India which means that this is a huge blow for all those people also who are living in India who want to come to Canada, maybe on a tourist visa to visit their family or friends, or maybe they want to study or want to come on a work permit, whatever. Now, in this video, I'm not going into the nitty and gritty of why this happened, what led to these extreme steps taken by these governments. The mainstream media is already covering it, and you might already be aware all about that. But what I'm going to discuss in this video is that how is this going to affect you and me? How is this going to affect our lives if you're living in Canada or maybe you're living in India and want to come to Canada? A little over one year ago, that is in September of 2023, when this diplomatic spat started, the Indian government stopped issuing new visas to Canadian nationals. Last year, when I heard this news, I was deeply impacted because just like thousands of other people, I was also a new Canadian citizen, which means just a few months before this ban was announced, I acquired the Canadian citizenship and gave up my Indian passport, which largely meant that I could not travel to India because I could not apply for Indian visa. Thankfully, they were still accepting the new OCI applications. So I rushed to the PLS center in Brampton and tried to apply for my OCI. But it turns out I wasn't the chosen one. There were thousands of people just like me. People lined up from midnight, from 9 p.m. while the offices were opening around 8 or 8.30 a.m. in the next morning. Because nobody could apply for the e-visas, things got so bad. There were people who had to apply for emergency visas. They had no clue how to do it. There were old people small children who were lined up right in midnight of an October winter, just like now. It gets quite chilly in night in October in Canada and everybody was lined up just to apply the OCI. This continued for over a month. After that, they resumed the e-visas and things got back to normal. Why I told you this complete story? Because something of this sorts 
could happen once again and this could happen in this week itself i'm not trying to scare you and there is no such news about it right now but when the top diplomats have been expelled this could be an obvious next step that the government of india could take so if you're a new canadian citizen which means that you might have switched from being an indian citizen to now a canadian citizen just recently to be on the safer side i would suggest you to apply for the e-visa right away if i'm not wrong and if i remember well there are options to apply for six month or a one year visa just go for one year visa applying the e-visa for india is very simple you can do that from the comfort of your home and you can get the visa in less than 24 hours when i was lined up for the oci application i met so many people many of them were new parents and because those newborns were canadian citizens they had to get an indian visa whatever be your case if you or your family needs a visa to travel to india i would suggest you to apply the visa right away god knows what could happen in the days to come now talking about the oci applications last year they stopped the new visa applications but they were still accepting the oci applications but you don't know what they could change this year i would still recommend that if you want to apply for the oci you should do it right away that does not mean that you start lining up from midnight to apply for the oci because i'm sure that this is going to happen in the next couple of days itself and that is too much hassle too much pain i've been through that so that's why i would recommend you to apply for that e-visa for the meantime and maybe you can apply for the oci later on and still if you want to apply for oci you can try to get an appointment or apply through a postal applications there are quite a few options you can explore them but not necessarily go and line up outside the bls centers because this is going to be crazy once again now talking about the pcc that is the police clearance certificate from india and the passport renewals so if your passport is expiring in the next few months maybe this is the time to renew your passport last year from my personal experience things were not that difficult for pcc and passport renewals the only thing which was difficult was to apply the oci they had banned the new visa applications so everybody rushed to apply the oci but thankfully for pcc and the passport renewals there weren't so long queues but that doesn't mean that you forget about it this is not the time to rest if you need a pcc in the upcoming days or you need to renew the passport you should try and get it done as early as possible right now as i said at least until the time that i'm making this video that is in the midnight of uh, 14th october that is a monday there hasn't been any announcement of this sorts from the government of india but in the days to come this might be an obvious next step so this is the time to tighten your belts and just start applying or maybe get appointments or whatever is actually required okay now talking about all those in india who want to apply for canadian visas maybe you want to visit your family and friends maybe you want a tourist visa or a student visa which i don't think many people would want at the moment maybe you want to come on a work permit i expect that the processing of all these visa applications would get slower in the upcoming days again it's too early from that sorts of announcements coming from the canadian government but then in the days to come you will certainly hear that this is going to impact the visa applications for sure i'm expecting that the processing times would be much higher so if you have any travel plans after you get your visa applications you should definitely consider that delay i'm making this video just because i've been through all that pain last year and i don't want you to go through all this pain so just as a precautionary step you can do what i've suggested you in last few minutes but as and when we get more updates about maybe more announcements any sort of restrictions or bans or changes in the visa rules either from the indian or the canadian government i will definitely make a detailed video on it so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet Please click the subscribe button so you get quick notifications about it. What is your view and your thoughts on this complete situation? Please let me know in the comment section below. Please like the video and share it with your family and friends if you think it would be useful for them.
thanks a lot for watching this video. See you in the next one.